Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Mons Bike Corner. Today we'll be reviewing the Linsky R140. The Linsky frame is a titanium frame. The frame and fork set uh, comes with a Linsky carbon fork. You can choose your fork actually. Uh, if you want to get Easton or NV, depending, it just has to fit the, the geometry of the frame. So the R140 is actually a raised geometry road bike, right? Um, although compared to most road bikes, especially the carbon ones, this is a more slack geometry. So mas relax siya. Tsaka syempre titanium, ang sarap gamitin, malambot, hindi ka nabubugbog masyado. My first bike was an alum aluminum road bike. Na yung ganyan, kalit na ba to? Ramdam mo yun. Ito, magic carpet ride yung dating. Kasi TI nga. Now, Linsky is an American brand made in the US, in Tennessee. Okay, they started out um, making the Lightspeed brand. And then they closed Lightspeed and reopened with their name already. The, these brothers are, um, from what I understand, they're um, aeronautical engineers and they supply titanium for planes so and their hobby is cycling and they got into building bike frames ganda niya um, value for money I mean there are more expensive titanium frames around like moots and whatnot but Linsky I'm happy with it I'm very happy with it if you want to get uh, Linsky I can hook you up with uh, the, the importer Reg uh, got my tan now the cockpit is comprised with 3T the 3T brand so it's a uh, this one is a 90 millimeter 3T stem, the ARX team, and a 3T alloy um, handlebar, which is the Ergosom Pro. Okay. Um, these are um, a hodgepodge of old and new parts when I got it. I built this bike in um, December 2016, uh, before the New Year's. So the the Group set I'm using is an Ultegra 6800 that came from my road bike. I got cheap from my friend Hulugan Pa. And um, the bottle cage I got from Paulinas, Carbon Elite uh, Moto bottle, bottle cage. Then a 3T stylus um, carbon seat post. And this is an old saddle from when I started mountain biking again in 2007 so I didn't know that it was a road saddle it was a road saddle pala so and I like the the shape of it and I like the feel so I bought it in King's bike shops bike shop in Capo it was one of the cheapest at that time because the the TI saddles TI, TI railed saddles at that time cost about a minimum of 4,000 to about six up I got this for two five, so murang mura siya. And then the saddle bag is again by Speed Sleeves. Unfortunately, I lost my Speed Sleeves last week, and when we rode in Phil and Best, kasi hindi siya hindi ko siya na kapit na maayos. So I need to contact Stephen again for my Speed Sleeves. The seat collar is by Linsky. Uh, the wheel set I got in Life Cycle. It's by Fulcrum. It's a Fulcrum Quattro alloy. Um, got that for about 40 back then. Um, Fulcrum kasi is made by Campi, by Campagnolo. So, ingat sa pulse, well, mahal yung pulse pag sinira mo. So, maintenance is key. Pagka medyo sobrang ingay na siya, hindi na siya yung sinasabing lang maingay talaga, natunog mayaman. Mayaman ka para i-replace yun ng ganon. So, you need to make alaga yung pulse niyan, lube and um, cl cleaning um, again the chain is by Dura Ace Shimano pedals are by Ultegra also carbon pad pedals and um, what else this bike is um, it's 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 great for straightaways um, it's not a very good climbing bike because of the gearing it's using standard it's a 53 by 39 chain ring so malaki siya so, it hindi hindi kagaya ng mga compact na masarap ay pang climb na 50 by by ano lang yata, 50 by 28 or something like that. So, madali siya i-climb or 38. Mas mas madali siya 
36. So and then the gear in the back is 10 by 28. So hindi siya madali climb if you if you see later on yung mga climbs ko tinatayo ang ko near the peak of the climb kasi nga medyo mahirap siya i-climb. Pero worth it naman. So you need to make Kailan may buhelo ka pagka-climb ka dito. So medyo sasabihin mo sa mga kasama, sir, mauna na ako ha kasi kailangan kong bumuelo kasi nga naka-standard ako. So uh, it's not set up tubeless, tube siya. The tire pressure I use in the back is about is 95 psi. The tire pressure I'm using in the front is 90. So and yun nga, may dala akong spare tube. CO2 canisters pagka naplatan. Okay. Um, as usual, I'm using camel box for my for my uh, water bottle. So, uh, maganda naman yung performance nito kasi nga hindi siya nakakatagtag lalo na if you're coming from even if you're coming from a carbon frame, pag nagtitanium frame ka, you'll be like, "Wow, but ang sarap ng ride kasi malambot siya." Malambot siya. May natural flex at shock absorption ang, ang titanium frame. Okay. The tires are by Challenge. This is the Elite Pro. It's a open tubular tire. Uh, ano ibig sabihin nun? Nahirapan din ako. Hindi ko rin naintindihan yung open tubular. Tubular tires apparently are tires that uh, tube siya basically. para may inner tube na siya. So this one's open. So um, Mas maganda yung carcass na mas makapal. So, maganda, hindi siya ganong katagtag. Before, when I built this bike, I was using a Michelin Pro 4. A Michelin Pro for four seasons. Okay. So, okay naman siya. Pero when I shifted to this one, parang, and especially after using a gravel bike before I, be, uh, when I, before I bought these tires, nasarapan ako doon sa tires ng gravel bike kasi makapal. Right? Uh, nung ginamit ko to parang, wow, ang sarap ng ride. Parang, close to gra nga lang, mas mabigat siya close to close to gravel bike ride kasi nga mas makapal yung gulong mas ma mas maganda yung, yung absorption ng shocks ng nung gulong so okay siya nga lang ang sacrifice it's it's a heavier carcass so pero it's worth it super worth it So this concludes our bike check or bike review on the Linsky R140. Again, this frame is a discontinued frame. Uh, I got this on sale. That's why it's on sale because it's discontinued. Na siya. There is a newer version of this which is called the Linsky R150. That's what I So anyway, um, if you want to get 
Linsky frames, let me know. I'll hook you up with, um, with the distributor here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so that you can be notified with new videos. See you again in the next episode of Mons Bike Corner.